Hey YouTube, what's up? So, welcome back to another video on how to set up each site. Today we're going to be doing Chalet. Um, so the thing with Chalet is, I want to make a rotate right here. I like to make it on this side. You can make it over here if you want. I like to make it over here. So you don't get shot from over there. Um, so yeah, that rotate. Reinforce this. They're gonna want to make head holes right here, and then reinforce these two. So you want it set up like this, and then back here. I like to reinforce this. I like to make footholds. Right there. And then reinforce these two. And then you can reinforce these two if you want. you want to rotate right here a lot of people don't know this is that you want to rotate right here you always want to rotate right here so you don't get shot from this window and just always come back in but um yeah this is pretty much the setup you want yeah, this is pretty much the setup you want uh shield you can put your shield right here on the stage, have someone playing behind it, you can use it as like a mirror too, um, oh yeah, and if someone's playing, uh, playing back here, you can shoot out the ground here, and then get a, get an angle on that, on there, up there. And, um, I'm trying to think of another. Oh yeah, this is a real good angle here. You just gotta watch for these windows. They like to repel on this window. Oh yeah, you can get a good shot into trophy down there. Um, your last two reinforcements, I would put right here. I'd put one right here and one right here. And these right here, so you don't get wall bang from a library window. Or from in library, because usually when someone comes in the library, they're going to spray, usually through this door. A lot of people like to play on this balcony area. Try to get, try and get a peek from K9. But, um, yeah, you can put your last two reinforcements there. Um, this right here, a lot of people don't like this. I personally like this, because... I should have the SMG-11, don't mind me having the pistol, but, um, one second, guys, alright, so, uh, you should be trying to put pressure over here, because, they say as an attacker, say as an attacker, you're pushing up here, and then this is reinforced, say this is reinforced, well, this is one less angle that the attacker has to worry about, so if this is reinforced, the only thing have the only thing the attackers have to worry on is that entrance and who's playing behind this shield and someone in that bathroom or someone playing from that bathroom or there could be someone on the rotate. But either way, adding this line of sight creates another it creates it creates them another um like another area to check. They're going to be more cautious and they're not going to get they're not going to be comfortable pushing gonna be less comfortable pushing up here same for someone pushing the stairs if someone's pushing the stairs and see that this is reinforced they're not gonna check this they're gonna be like all right this is good and same as someone pushing here too when someone push here they're not gonna expect this to be open as an attacker usually if you catch them off guard they don't drone it out they're gonna be pushing here and then you can get a e pretty much an easy kill on them when they push like it's, it's pretty much easy. and if you have a mirror if mirror ain't banned, 
can put a mirror on this bad boy. And it's just even even worse. Even worse for the attackers. So that's why that's why I like to put these. And uh Yeah, that's why I like this. Now now to rotate holes back here, like again, it really doesn't matter where you rotate this. I just like putting it on this side. So I don't get shot from K9 when I'm rotating. But having it on here makes you so you don't get shot from uh that window right there. Because if you could see, I go out here, I could just hold an angle on that rotate. If I if it's right there, it's kind of hard to. So there it has both both of these rotates has its pros and cons. But um, I think more people like to push K9 in that window. But those that that's also a really good heavy push spot. But um. Yeah, you can bust this hatch if you want, if you have an oryx to get back to site quick. Um, but yeah, like I said, usually once someone playing back here, uh, usually playing on this shield, have someone in sight playing that hole. Um, and just have someone in library, like playing library uh, uh, balcony area. But, um, you can have a roam. Have a roam in, uh, R if you want. But, yeah, that's pretty much it on this setup. Uh, we're gonna go and head down into the basement. So, I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys. So, now we're downstairs. Now, the first thing you want to do is reinforce these two back walls right here. And I got my SMG this time. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, reinforce these two back walls. Uh, you can reinforce these two as well. If you want, it's completely up to you, but if you want, you can make a rotate right here and have someone playing. Uh, get pressure on Trent. It's completely up to you, but I like to reinforce it. It all just depends how teams play. Um, this needs reinforce and then this needs rotated as well don't do it on this side do it on this side and then um like i said if if there's a mirror on your team you're gonna want to put a mirror right here so if they get the garage door open you can pressure it and then uh, smoke, smoke can also pressure it by throwing C4s or in, deep, or in a default plant. This is default plant, so a mirror right here is going to be really strong. So uh, you could smoke off uh, default, but um, reinforce this, obviously. I like to shoot it sometimes. Like, um, like to shoot it open sometimes, so if they're bandit tricking, if you're bandit tricking, uh, bandit will hit it much more clear when it's shot open. So if you got a shotgun, shoot open a couple times, it makes bandit hearing a lot easier. Um, that's pretty much set up, uh, if you have a Cade, I usually put the Cade claw up here. And then uh, Cade for the back wall, you bring it. You bring your other Cade claw and put it right here. Throw it back there. It will get this back wall right here. It'll electrify this back wall, so uh, Callie can't get it with her with her gadget. And then the two hatches reinforce this hatch. Have one of your roamers, has one of your roamers get two hatches, get that hatch, and then, uh, get this hatch right here. It's in, uh, fireplace. The last reinforcement, you really don't need it. Um, that jukebox out. I like to open this window at the start of the round. 
And then uh, if you have someone playing up here, you get like a nice little, nice little peek right here. You'd be surprised how many kills I get staying right here and people will walk past like a thermite or someone trying to get the wall. Or if you're really, if your balls are really big, you can jump out here. Watch for claymores though, make sure there are no claymores. You jump out here, kill them from up here. Uh, shield. I like to place my shield either right here or back here. Two places I like to place my shield. Um, so setting it up, yeah, that's pretty much it on setting it up. All your reinforcements and like rotates and everything. Uh, make sure someone's watching blue. If, they're, if someone's bandit tricking, always have someone watching blue. Oh, another place you can put your shield, if you have another shield, is right here. You can put it up against here so you have someone watching blue. And test on blue. Um, if there's a fuse, he's probably going to fuse up here. And he's probably going to fuse this all. All this is soft. So, like I said, have that roamer up top. Usually I like to have a roamer playing in like the bar area. And then have like a roamer playing in like the library, like the library area, because this is a strong push. That window, a lot of people push that window. Uh, if you can, you could break the hatches for a quick, quick rotate. Break these two. Quick rotate if you need to. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it on this setup. Like I said, pretty easy. This map's map's pretty easy to set up. It's really not a not a complicated map. It's actually my favorite map in the game right now. Like a lot of people, uh, a lot of people think uh, like Oregon. And shit. I like I like uh, this. I like Chalet. Chalet is my favorite map in rotation right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it on this setup. Um, we're gonna head to the dining room in a oh no trophy kitchen. Yeah, trophy kitchen. We're gonna head to next. This one over here. Uh, so I'll see you there. Yeah, I'll see you over there. Okay, guys, we're on dining room and kitchen now. I said I said trophy. My bad. It's dining room kitchen. So uh, first things first is reinforce these two. Um, you can if you want make head holes here. Completely, completely up to you. Um. I like to reinforce it though, but completely up to you. If you want though, you can shoot out the top. Load real quick. You can shoot out the top for uh, impact tricks or C4s. Um, I like to reinforce that hatch. Uh, you can bust out this hatch if you want. Uh, I like to rotate right here. Like put a rotate right there. Uh, you can reinforce this. Or actually, reinforce this side. Sorry. And uh, if you want, you can make a foothold. You know what? Yeah, you can reinforce both of it. Yeah, you can reinforce both of it if you want. Um, reinforce these two. And then reinforce these back walls. Reinforce this one and then make your footholds so you can see them walking in. And uh, your last reinforce you're gonna put on the hatch, so you're gonna use all your reinforcements. So, have someone get the hatch. I 
then uh, someone can make uh, rotates like the same ones from before right here so they can put pressure in the trophy and then they can also do it on this side as well put pressure in the trophy and that someone someone's gonna be you want someone to be playing up here so uh so they don't fuse because uh they're gonna um if there's a fuse on the team they're gonna get up here and push or even a sledge or a buck they're just gonna get like this is all breakable so they can get vert vert holes if they play vertical it's pretty much game over so um yeah you want pe you want at least like one or two people playing up here have someone playing up here in in this room and just have someone playing in like piano or even like library. Or just have have like have like a two room upstairs. Uh, you could bust this hatch too. Get back to room. You can bust this hatch. And uh, that's pretty much it on the site setup. Uh, shield. Um, shield, shield, let's see. You can place it right here. And then you can get a real nice angle, like, right here. So, yeah, that's, that's a good place. I usually use this shield a lot, get a nice angle down here. And you can use this mirror, like, kind of as, like, a mirror. Aim up, like, uh, so that's a nice spot right there. But yeah, this is pretty, this is the site setup. Uh, if you want, you can open this. Just, uh, make sure you have, like, a Jaeger or Wamai with you. So they don't, uh, grenade you from up here. Because, uh, that would be tragic. But yeah, just have, um, open those up. Then you can impact trick if they're going for the wall. But yeah, that's pretty much the site setup. Um, you can have someone playing in bar. About to run out of ammo here. I play these uh, vert holes here. This is a nice angle too. Get anyone peeking in from here. So that's a nice angle you can hold. Watching the door right there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Have like um, like I like to have two up, one in bar, and then uh, two in a room. Like one playing the shield, and then um, someone playing like the rotate, or even like someone playing in uh west main entrance. Because, uh, that, that's a heavy push. Usually, you probably have another shield set up. Like, right here or something. But you gotta watch this window, too. So, if you can, you can press back. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, have I, I like to have two up. One in bar and two in sight. Or two around sight. But, um, we're gonna go over to, uh, this spawn next. The bar spawn. Bar in game. So, uh, I'll see you guys over there. Okay, guys, so, so for the final rooms is game and, uh, games room and bar. Uh, like I said, this is the room that you're probably not gonna go to as much. Um, so first thing you wanna do is make a rotate. You can make it on either this side. Or you can make it on this side. It's really up to you. It really don't matter. Or you can make it in the middle. Just make make sure you have a rotate. It really doesn't matter where it's at on here. Just make sure you have a rotate. Um, this. Reinforce this right here. Make your uh, feet holes. Shut this jukebox off. Reinforce this. And make your feed holes right here. Is this one or two? Oh, that's just one. Alright, yeah. So make your feed holes right here. And then, um... Yeah, that's, uh... Oh, yeah, right here. You want to reinforce this. If you want, you can reinforce it. But if you don't feel like it, like, they're not going to be able to get up here. But well, you can shoot it out if you want. But well, you can re you can also reinforce it. It's completely up to you. It's not gonna change nothing. You can reinforce it. You can shoot 
down here. But um, if someone's coming up here and they're not they're not aware of that, then it's pretty much an easy kill. So that's always there. Um, reinforce this hatch, but bust this hatch open. Now the reason you're busting that hatch open. So uh, yeah, reinforce this hatch. And then, um, oh yeah, there's something else I want to reinforce as well. You're, you're going to have a lot of leftover reinforce, so whatever you didn't rotate, like, reinforce the middle. And then, like, reinforce, like, over here. So you don't get a wall bang. It limits, it limits you from getting wall bang. Like, it don't all have to be reinforced, just, like, some, just reinforce some of it. But, um, open the but, uh, anyway, back up to here. So that's pretty much all the reinforcements you're gonna use. Um, you can use some up here. So, like, again, if, if someone's playing up here, they don't get wall banged. Um... But, um, the reason this is popped is because you're gonna want someone playing in this vicinity, whether it's library, or out here on, uh, the balcony, the main stairs balcony. But, um, out, so right here, this watches this window, watches the jump in, and then it also watches this right here. Now, if you want, you can pop this open. And then get a nice angle down, like right here. Hold on, real quick. There we go. So pop that open. Get a real nice angle on someone walking across. Or you can hold it from back here. Like I say, you're gonna have those holes too. But um, I like holding it from here because you can actually kill them in the hallway. You can see everything in there rather than them coming in through the doorway. But it's honestly where you're gonna be playing at in that in the round. But um. Now your shield. Your shield really don't matter. I mean, you can place it in here somewhere, or you can place it down by the bar right here. Just so it protects you a little bit more from rotating. And then, uh... It protects you more from rotating. But yeah, have someone playing up in library, or, uh... Like a main stairs area. Like again, have two people in uh, have two people in here, and then just you. Honestly, you can have three people in here, and then just have a two-man roam, just two upstairs and three in here, or even have someone playing in this area. Or if you want, you can come in here and then shoot out the holes right here. Reinforce this, because you're going to have three reinforcements left over. But you just got to watch, because... You just got to watch for sound cues, because... This window... This window... And this window are both... Uh, like, the attackers like to push these three windows a lot, usually. So you just got to hear for sound cues. Like, uh, if someone's running proximity... Have them throw proximity back here. Or if someone's running lesion, just have them trap the doors... You know what I mean? Just have somebody to throw traps to watch your back. Or just play Legion yourself. Or play someone with proximities yourself. And then just have someone make these rotates for you so you can watch you can watch uh into the into the main entrance area, fireplace, you can watch them pushing here. Or you can get all the way down here and watch the stairs. So and then if you want you can use your last two reinforcements right here so you don't get wall banged. Or you don't even need it right there, but you, you can. But yeah. And then just have your smoke. Just have your smoke playing in room. Because you don't want your smoke to die. And just have two people upstairs. Uh, one in there and just two in sight. So that's a good, that's a good, uh, good little layout right there. But, um... So that's going to do it, uh, all the setups on uh, Chalet. That's going to do it for today's video. Uh, make sure if you like this, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, maybe comment. Um, 
And then I'll see you at the next one. You guys be safe. Be good people. I'm out.